Another day, another issue. I was testing my ring cutting, and you can see the chatter in here. I think an experienced machinist could tell you that the cutter angle was too flat to the cylinder, and I need more back rake. So I've decided, and to take more guesswork out of this, I'm gonna make a specific cutter just for the ring that I'm using. So I've got the rings, and I've measured them to be 58 thousandths and scouring the internet for ring clearance I've discovered that the depth should be deep enough so the ring does not protrude when fully compressed that's easy all I've got to do is measure this and run my compound in that distance which I'll set up with the dial indicator the hardest factor I, I was thinking of is making sure that the gap is wide enough so that the rings don't tilt back and forth rock and they go straight. The ring manufacturers suggest one to two thousandths clearance. I'm going to go one optimistically thinking that I could get one and end up with two most likely. So that gives me a 59 thousandths gap. I've got my caliper. And I've taken a 316th drill bit and some key or hex stock and made a boring bar. Since my old copy lathe uses a triple zero Armstrong holders, this is probably going to work pretty well. I've got my top rake ground into the drill bit and some relief on the front and I've done Sharpie on the end. I'll set up 59 thousandths. Oh, better yet, I'll take a ring and on the inside, because the outside has a chamfer, and I'll just mark. And I can see two bright spots there. I'm gonna go to the grinder and grind up to these bright spots. So just after a couple of careful minutes of grinding, I've created a V shape on the end of this drill bit. There, so that's a good angle. So I've got front relief, side relief, both, and top rake. I'm still proud of my goal of 59 thousandths at 77 thousandths. The rest I'm going to do with a plain old knife sharpening stone. This grinder here, I got for $12 at a yard sale. It's real handy to have a designated grinding stone for my tungsten rods. I, I weld a lot of aluminum, so this wheel only gets that use. That's what that groove's for. And this is my lathe sharpening wheel. I only use it for high speed steel and um, all the other work will get done on a nine inch grinder off camera. This may seem tedious, but I have a lot more control. And my goal is to keep this parallel with the bit. If anything, a little bit of relief towards the back. That way it doesn't bind when I feed it into the piston straight in. Someone asked me if I want to do that again. Simple answer. Nope. Let's see. The very end. Yeah. Got... 59 and a half, 59 thousandths. You can see it's almost identical. Let's give it a go. So here's the setup. Got a dial indicator zeroed with the tool bit touching the workpiece. I've tightened all my gib or grub screws down, to take out any play. I've locked down the travel. I've choked up as much as I can on the bit, and let's see how it goes. I'm going to stop at 76 thousandths in depth. That should be the depth of the ring, and my cutter is as wide as the ring needs to be. So here we go. Make it a curl. I'm going to throw some tap magic on there.
forty thousands. Almost there, sixty thousands. Seventy. Twenty five. Six. Let it smoke there for a minute, burnish it, and back it straight out. This project's coming together so fast now, I can't hardly stand it. The uh, ring fits pretty well. It feels just about like any ring I've ever installed. I get these rings for, these are for a chainsaw, 53 millimeter, I think for a still, and they're one and a half millimeters wide. The originals were two millimeters wide, but that shouldn't be a problem. Modern equivalent. And so from the start of this project, I had a undersized original cast piston of Mamar Core. And this is kind of a pretty good replica, I think. And it's oversized. The only thing I have left to do is cut a circlip groove here for the wrist pin, which shouldn't be anything more than a simple boring uh, operation to cut a groove. So I'm gonna call it all the functions are done I've just got to make two now and install it and ride the bike. So look forward to that Thanks for watching these videos